Hey guys, what's going on? Mega here. After substantial research, me and Hunza, and like I say, it took about two weeks. We finally discovered, you know, all the foods that will help us maximize the testosterone levels. It's funny. What really scared us is when we read an article somewhere. I don't know if it was a video, an article, a documentary that shows that the average testosterone level for the average male now is between 800 to no, 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 sorry. Between 200 to 800, which is ridiculously, which is awful, compared to back in the days, uh, sources say it used to be anywhere from 800 to 2,000, right? See that as like the fucking Syrian power levels, right? And now the average, even for young males in their 20s, is so low, like around 400, as opposed to like in the thousands. So that's when we decided to say, you know what, fuck this dirty bug, you know, we, we, we got our strength up, uh, but then the fat caught up with us, and you know, the fatter you are, the harder it is to put on muscle because the testosterone level was going down and stuff like that. So we decided to go back, you know, and fix everything up. So I'm now I'm on week six of my diet, right? Hansa is in, I think, week two or week one. I don't know, he started like a bit after me. So anyway, so we did, we spent two weeks researching from scratch, right? When you're researching, you always want to start from scratch. You want to know the past a little bit, but you want to start off from scratch. Pretend like you don't know anything, right? And read as many, I repeat, as many sources as possible. You don't just want to look at one source and do your research, no many sources as possible and stay away from bodybuilding sources as much as you can you still want to look at them obviously but there's a lot of marketing that takes place into that there's marketing all over the world to be honest in every industry but bodybuilding you're going to have a lot of uh subjective info so we looked at cancer research you know because you know you, in order to increase your testosterone you have to lower your estrogen and the departments that focus the most on estrogen reduction it's cancer institutes, right? Breast cancer, things like that. Because they're not just trying to make money. They're trying to actually... Some people are trying to save lives, you know? So you, you're more likely to find true information there. So anyway, so I made a video already. Make sure you, you look at it. The, the way to uh, lower your estrogen uh, by looking at every source possible, right? Through foods. Mainly through foods. Training takes, a, training takes a big part, but it's mainly through foods. What you eat plays a big part in lowering estrogen. And I give you guys the four ways, right? Number one, I said you want to stop. It's stop block, destroy, remove. Number one, you want to stop aromatase because without aromatase, there's no estrogen. Number two, you want to block the estrogen receptors. Number three, if you block the receptors, estrogen can do its job on the human body. Number three, you want to remove estrogen now that it's floating around with nowhere to go. You want to turn it into a different compound that your body you know, can excrete. And last but not least, you want to remove it. You want to get it out through your, um, through your ass. You want, to, you want your liver to detox it. So anyway, this is going to be part one on just aromatase, right? I'm gonna make part two, part three, and part four later on. I gotta make sure the video is not too long. This is only on aromatase. Watch the other video for um, the big picture, it's pretty long. So no one, what is aromatase, right? Make a long story short, it's an enzyme. Anything that, anything that ends in A's is an enzyme, right? I'm a tool at school and I'm studying a lot of biochemistry and I'm learning more and more about the human body, how we just lift weights every day and eat food to get big, but we really don't know what's happening in our bodies. And it's exciting when you finally see what's happening, the mechanisms. So aromatase is an enzyme that takes your testosterone and turns it into estrogen, right? In males, also in females. So obviously you guys know the production of testosterone. First, let's say you do something, you, you do a heavy set of squats, or you do anything that raises testosterone. What really happens? Testosterone doesn't just pop out of nowhere. Your brain releases, your hypothalamus releases gonadotropin releasing hormone, that goes to your pituitary gland, which releases luteinizing hormone and FSH. Luteinizing hormone goes to your testes, your balls, and releases, uh, I mean, makes your Leydig cells in your balls to produce testosterone from cholesterol, right? So then your body takes cholesterol, turns it into pregnenolone or some shit, DHEA, and then boom, testosterone comes out, right? Once testosterone comes out, it can go to the cells, make you brawly, do all these things, make you more of a male, you know? And it can also turn into two things. One is DHT, right, which is dihydrotestosterone, which is more powerful than testosterone in so many ways, probably five times more powerful. Some people say five to ten times. And the other way it can go, it can turn is into estrogen. And that's where aromatase comes in. Aromatase is the motherfucker that turns your hard-earned testosterone into estrogen. You don't want that. Once again, I explain why. Because estrogen not only makes you look more like a woman, it, it, it brings down your sex drive. You, you're going to have a whole bunch of issues, right? Low sex drive, low energy, mood swings. Estrogen also increases sex hormone binding globulin, which binds to your testosterone and makes it inactive. You don't want that. Estrogen also goes back to your brain if you have too much estrogen, it tells you're going to start making hormones, which is bad because you want more testosterone on that, you know. So estrogen does a lot of bad things. Plus, estrogen makes your body gain more fat. And the more fat you have, the more aromatase you have. 
The more aromatase you have, the more estrogen you have. It's an infinite cycle, it's really, really ugly. That's why fat people find it very hard to lose weight, even when they cut their calories, they lose weight at first, then they plateau, right? You don't wanna cut your calories your whole fucking life. You wanna enjoy life and eat the food that you want. So what you wanna do is control your hormones. If you stop aromatase, you can stop estrogen, and in case of women with breast cancers, you could lower your chances of having breast cancer. So stopping aromatase, no one wanna lose belly fat. Before I even show you guys this list, you wanna lose belly fat. Belly fat has so much aromatase. In fact, people that go through surgery, I don't know how you call that surgery. Surgery that removes your, your fat, just, you know, boom, the easy way out. Right after that surgery, they have a decline in estrogen levels and a decline in aromatase levels, and the T levels go up. That shows you, you want to remove belly fat. Not just belly fat, but you guys want to go. I said belly fat because males really have most of our fat in our stomachs, but you just want to lose weight. Um, when you lose weight, remember fat is a factory for aromatase. All right, so let's say that's out the way. Let's say you cut in or you're leaning out. Uh, here are the, the natural ways to inhibit aromatase through foods. Number one, zinc, right? You want to eat a lot of oysters. Once again, I just put oysters as an example. You don't have to eat these foods. These are just the common foods that are easy to find, right? So foods that are high in zinc, zinc inhibits aromatase. So you have oysters, right? You have oysters, you have a uh, shitload of foods that are high in zinc. It's so easy to get zinc, guys. Oh, if you want, you can take a zinc supplement like ZMA. Number two, you want to get olive oil. Olive oil has melatonin, which helps inhibit aromatase. Once again, you don't have to eat olive oil alone. You can look for foods that are high in melatonin. All these things I put in parentheses here, I put it there for you guys to Google top 10 foods highest in zinc. Pick the one that's easier for you or cheaper for you and then purchase it, right? So I'm putting in parentheses to help you guys pick your own, your own source. So olive oil because of the melatonin. Cabbage because of quercetin, right? You could, you could Google top 10 foods high in quercetin. I'm going to put all that in the description or in the comment section. Cabbage. Oranges, right? Or just not just oranges, citrus fruits, right? Lemons, things like that, grapefruit, if you like that nasty shit. Uh, because it has narragansett, red wine, red grapes. Obviously, it's really the skin of the red grapes that has it. It's resveratrol, uh, which is a very powerful aromatase inhibitor. You want to eat a lot of nuts, especially walnuts, because it has selenium. And peppers, bell peppers, chili peppers, whatever, because they're very high in vitamin C. So go online, Google those things, Google those categories. If you if you find with those foods, you can eat them. If not, look at this in the comment section. Google top 10 foods highest in blank, 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 and then make your own grocery list, right? Remember, the secret to any diet is you wanna eat foods that you actually like. You don't wanna eat foods that taste like shit just because they work, right? Find a way to make your diet last as long as possible so it becomes a lifestyle and not a diet. You get what I mean? So I hope this video helps, guys. Stop aromatase dead in its that, that. Stop aromatase dead in its tracks. That will prevent your body from turning your precious tea into estrogen. And in fact, if you look at a lot of estrogen blockers, they have a lot of these ingredients in it. It's the only thing that I do, guys. I look at the stuff that these bodybuilders take, right? And I just go look at the ingredients and the active ingredients. And then I look for where I could find those ingredients in nature. Pretty smart, right? You don't want to spend your money on these pharmaceutical products, right? You don't want to spend your money on these drugs. Find out what the active ingredient is and see if you could imitate that in nature. And you have close to the same result. Not the same, but pretty close. Anyway, I hope this video helps. Megan, Sherlock Soul, I'm out. Then uh, this was me at 162. Well, at the end of my last cut. Look at me trying to look all sexy, guys. Look at this. No, I'm not looking bad. Not looking bad. This was me when I discovered car back loading. Saved my fucking life. Look at this. I put on size. I was at 175 here. Put on size and maintain my six pack.